Hello again, everybody. And um, this video is going to be um, just me bitching. So um, if you like my rant videos, if you're like, oh, dude, if there's one thing I like what you do, it's when you bitch about stuff. Then this is the video for you. Um, I am at my wits end with GoDaddy. <clears throat> I am completely fucking done with them. Um, I almost um, canceled everything uh, yesterday. Um, and I didn't do this video yesterday because I was like, I should probably sleep on this and not completely lose my mind um, in a video. So, to recap everything that's going on, <clears throat> um, I pay GoDaddy what I think is a ridiculous amount of money for the service that I get. Um, GoDaddy used to be fine, and I, this video is not a video about their beliefs, what they say, um what their stances on certain things are. I don't give a shit about that right now. What I want from my um, company that holds my um, domain names and handles my hosting is that I want them to be good and not shit. That's, that's what I'm paying them to do. I don't pay them to have the same beliefs as I do. I just want my shit to work. Okay, and maybe that's where I fucked up. Maybe that's the problem here. Um, but uh, I'm trying to think of where to start because this has been going on for some time and it's been getting steadily worse. Um, I think the uh, the vitriol um, started when they switched to cPanel. Um, cPanel is hot garbage, okay? It's fucking awful. And from a business standpoint, like their business standpoint, I could see why it was a good idea because they're like, oh, look, all these people who've been able to um, build their own websites and maintain them themselves will find this so fucking difficult that they'll have to pay for our um, special bullshit service that we do so we will have to help them fucking do their shit and they'll have to pay more for it so um as a business that um equates them making more money so i understand that but as a business that should have good customer service um it's a fucking horrible idea when people have come to your product and who have been with your product for fucking years. For years. Like, oh, I'm trying to remember what year it was. I don't, that doesn't even sound right. I'm pretty sure I've been with GoDaddy since fucking um, 2005, 2004, if that's even possible. Like, um, I'm pretty sure they're the only company I've ever done any kind of, um, internet web building shit with. Um, I could be wrong, but I've been with them for a fucking long time. And, um, so it's like really frustrating. Um, but anyway, so one of the things that is happening, my website, websites, keep crashing because there is a fucking thing that um, collects emails. Not like your email address, but people can send emails to my website even though there is no... I do not have a like IHateMattWall.com email address. I do not have a WeirdMass.com email address. Um, and the other sites that I have that I'm not going to mention, I don't have email addresses for any of those. 
I don't, because I don't want to fucking pay extra for it. But for some reason, I still get those emails, okay? Those emails go to my server, and according to GoDaddy, each email that comes in takes up the same amount of space as a web page would. So for me, who isn't checking this, over the years, I had gigs upon gigs of these weird emails that I have no idea what the fuck they are because I don't fucking read them. So if I want to, like, delete them because for some reason I can't just make it to where I do not get mail for my fucking website because of something in cPanel that needs this thing to exist. <clears throat> And if you are a computer um, tech wizard and what I'm saying sounds fucking stupid, let me know down below because this is what the fucking people at GoDaddy fucking told me. So I go into my GoDaddy account and um, if I want to access any of these other things um, in the back end of my websites, I have to go into cPanel. Now, this is another reason why I think this is fucking stupid, because before I used to just go into like <clears throat> um, my hosting files or um, sometimes I would go into my FTP management system um, and all this other shit. But so to go into cPanel, it like takes you away from GoDaddy. And then you have to log into cPanel. So you need another fucking login to get to the fucking thing to fucking get into your own fucking website. Okay? Which is fucking horrible. Then you get in and then, like, everything has to fucking load. So you have to wait for that. And when you're getting, like, seriously, thousands upon thousands, and it's probably spam hacker bullshit. <clears throat> but when you're getting thousands of these things... Like, you look at the timestamps and stuff, it'll be like 1143, 1143, 1144, 1144, 1145, and then like they'll skip 1146 for some reason, and then I'll get eight more at 1147. And this goes on for months and months and months and months and months. C panel has to fucking load each one of these individually into the fucking thing. Before you could fucking select all of them. And then once you do that, that has to load. And then when you want to delete them, a box will come up and it'll say, so do you want to delete these like into the trash? Or do you want to skip the trash and just permanently delete them? And it's like, hmm, let me see. I want to put these files that I want off of my fucking server um, on my server. Or do I want to just get rid of them? Hmm. This is so fucking hard for me to figure out. I don't know what the fuck I should do. Stupid shit. <clears throat> so it gets to the point where I won't even be able to post a blog because there's not enough room on my shit because of all this stuff. Okay. And that's usually how I find out about it. Every once in a while, I'll get an email from somebody to my email address saying, oh, hey, I went to your website and it's down. What the fuck? And I'm like, oh, oh, my God. And so then I have to go and I go, shit, how long has my website been down? I don't check my website every day. I might go into the back end of my website and that's always there. But I don't see I don't go to the front end of my website. The front end, is that a thing? Anyway, um, so it's fucking annoying. And so every time I do this, like, it m takes me away from doing the shit that I do that fucking I make money on. Like, it, it takes me away from my work. And it's not like I could fucking sue GoDaddy for the day I missed at work trying to fix a problem that I shouldn't even be fucking having in the first place. So I keep saying... I'm done with GoDaddy. I'm going to fucking leave. Because this has been going on since December. So, like, every couple weeks, I have to go in and fucking do this. It's fucking stupid. Oh. Okay. So, I keep saying I'm going to fucking leave GoDaddy. But the thought of losing 
years worth of content across a bunch of different websites freaks me out. And um, I think Bluehost, is that the, I don't know. I did a bunch of research trying to find where I should go and how I should do it and all this other shit. Um, so I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, but I know there's a way allegedly that if I leave one provider and go to another provider, um, somehow or another, um, they will just transfer everything over or GoDaddy will transfer it over. I don't know how the fuck it works. If you know, please let me know down below and try to ease my mind because I'm fucking livid. And yesterday I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm going to delete everything. I don't give a shit. And then I'm like, I don't want to lose my domain names. I can't just like delete my account and fucking just throw all this out into the fucking ether. <sighs> so, um, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just like kill my websites and just once that's done, just transfer ownership of my domains. The whole thing's so fucking stupid. It shouldn't be this hard. You should just be able to fucking do the thing you want to do easily. I should be able to call up a motherfucker and say, hey, your company sucks. I need you to send all of my domains to this company. And they go, oh, okay, I'll take care of that for you. Um, have a great day. And you know what? We're going to PayPal you some money and you go have dinner on us. Like, that would be some fucking customer service. I would I would appreciate that. But um, cPanel is fucking trash. Um, it has made everything at GoDaddy difficult. <clears throat> it has made customer service a fucking nightmare. Because whenever I call, I usually have to talk to two or three different people before I find somebody with enough knowledge with about my problem to be able to fucking help me. And um, having to fucking sign into another fucking thing to get into the thing that you already were signed in to fucking get into is fucking stupid. There shouldn't be that many steps. Um, it's just, it's fucking awful. I fucking hate it. I'm cussing a lot. Um, I'm getting angry. Um, so I'm going to probably end this here. So um, have you left GoDaddy? Um, what is your favorite hosting provider and domain collector company. Like, I don't even know what the fuck these things are. God damn it. Um, or are the days of owning your own website over? Do we need to go back to the idea of um, digital sharecropping where we just hang out on other things like YouTube or um, whatever and that be the way people get a hold of us? What do you think? Answer me now. Shouldn't have hit the table. Sorry. So um, until next time, you guys take care. Bye-bye, everyone. I will see you soon.